Hi, my name is Cameron Brewster. I'm an IT systems engineer here at MoneyGram Hass F1 team, and I'm answering some of your questions that you've sent to me. What qualifications have I got? Um, I've, I did computer science at university, um, an under, undergraduate degree. Aside from that, I've just picked up experience from being in the industry. Um, it always helps to have a degree, um, but also experience is fair, fairly weighty these days as well. And you'll find that it's not always degrees that companies look at now, but um, it's certainly a good good start. What's the best part of my job? Um, probably, you know, seeing the car go around at weekends. Um, it's a great sense of achievement and it's not something you get in a nine to five job, for example. Um, it just gives you something to work towards each weekend and, and see, the, you know, the fruits of your labor as it were. So how did I get into working in the industry? Um, it was actually my sister who found the job for me. Um, she found the job and she suggested that I applied. Um, and I did, and I kept my fingers crossed because um, I'd applied to a few teams before and hadn't been successful. And, and yeah, I uh, got the job and six years later, I'm, I'm still here at Haas. How many times do I, have I said, have you tried turning it on and off again? Uh, this one's actually from my sister. Um, to be honest, not as often as you think. Most of the time that I say that, it's probably because I'm on the phone to you telling you how to fix your phone. What's the most different thing for working for an F1 team compared to a normal company? Um, to be honest, there aren't that many differences in terms of IT. Uh, the, ma the main thing is obviously with each race that we go to, we effectively do, if you like, an office move and we have to set up our infrastructure enough to run, you know, enough kit for 40 to 80 people week in week out um, whereas most places you set it up and it's there and it's in that building um, from then on um, and there's a few different pieces of software that you wouldn't experience in a normal company um, but aside from that from the IT point of view it's it's relatively comparable I would say to to the real world as we call it how do we get all of the data back to the factory um, so basically we've got um, sync servers and they run syncs the whole data from the track push it out to the track um, and they run all the time and we've got different levels of priority to decide whether you know the car data that has a higher priority over um, other less important files and even when the engineers and all the guys at the track they're not actually at the track they're at ho the hotel asleep these syncs are still running pulling the data across and we also have live telemetry as well for the car um, so we're not reliant on these sync jobs we can actually stream the data back in real time for car data and for intercom Am I interested in cars or is it just a job to me? Um, I've always been into my cars um, ever since I was a, a little boy. Um, I used to be big into my rally, so I was a big fan of Colin McRae and Richard Burns back back when they were around. Um, and yeah, rally and rally cross is my kind of passion, if you like. I'm into my touring cars as well, um, but I like my Formula One and um, I like my cars as well. I'm big into my Japanese um, JDM cars, um, but a bit of everything really. If it's got an engine, I'm, I'm into it. How do we get the data off the car during a race weekend? Um, so basically we've got lots and lots of different sensors on the car. They measure anything from oil pressure, fuel levels, aero sensors, that sort of thing. And we have radio antennas that then take that data, stream it back to the pits, to the FIA and to the teams. And then we've got servers on our side that interpret the da that data and effectively churn it out to the end user through the telemetry programs that we use. And then we also stream that back to the factory for our guys and guys and girls in the race support room to look at in real time before even the TV feed has made it back. So that's it from me. Thanks for your questions, everyone. It was great answering them. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you look forward to the season ahead.